Heard you have a very laggy Chromebook. You should definitely upgrade that computer. How to fix lag on a Chromebook for real. Screenshot. Boom. Not quick break. Did I get it? Okay, I got it. FBI agent watching us right How to fix lag on a Chromebook and how to play, actually play Roblox on a Chromebook. In today's video, I'm gonna be telling you all about it, guys. But first, thank you for being here. Make sure you smash that like button and subscribe for more future videos. I'm Alistair Blocks, voiceovering for QCRC as this video, the audio wasn't recorded correctly. But do not worry, guys. I'm still gonna be telling you everything you need to know just about this, exactly what QCRC was going to show you guys in the first place. I'm just here to get the word out for you guys and to tell you how to do it. So first of all, just look at these beautiful graphics. I mean, it doesn't get better than this. And yes, we are using a Chromebook in this footage. Just look at how amazing the game on Roblox Duhood looks using a Chromebook. I was uh, I was astonished when I saw this footage. QCRC was able to do it. This is amazing. All right, sorry guys, enough of this. I need to tell you how to do it right now because I know you guys want to know how to do it. And thank you so much for being here to find it out. I got you guys. First of all, I need to tell you that you must make sure that you have enough storage on your Chromebook. So if you have a ton of ton of things downloaded and it is just like absolutely filling up your entire Chromebook, your whole storage is full, you're going to want to have a little bit, at least a little bit of storage left for whichever file or whichever, sorry, drive your roblox player is downloaded to so make sure that you remove some files that are just taking up so much space uh at least well at least a good bulk of them just to make sure that your roblox will run smoothly because at least you won't have so many files um taking up all that storage and roblox kind of like may need to download things on its own and you want to make sure that you have enough storage for that but now guys as you can see i'm demonstrating what it would look like with zero graphics. That's what we're doing right here. Qster C put his graphics all the way low. His quality is all the way low. Testing out these settings here. And as you can see, this is what it would be like without a Chromebook. Um, you're just like clueless, a little noob, just scrolling through all of the settings, not knowing how to fix your Chromebook. You know, how to do it like a pro, like I'm about to tell you about. And just absolutely just playing around with the graphics, trying to put it up. But this is what you have to look at guys this is probably even better than what some chromebooks can do because some are just absolutely very very laggy and not meant for roblox but we're going to try to optimize it in today's video we're going to be trying to optimize your chromebook at the end of this video tell you the tips so your chromebook is able to run roblox enough for you to actually be able to play it without it crashing and absolutely lagging like crazy all right secondly everybody this is a very and very important thing and i'm sure you guys know about it and check it consistently. I'm talking about your internet connection, like how good you are connected to your internet um, and how good your Wi-Fi is. I know you guys think about that sometimes and you have to make sure that it's good. Like I see some people, some people really think they're a gangsta with having absolute dog Arby's McDonald's Wi-Fi trying to be pro at Roblox the hood and it doesn't work. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, you know, not just the hood, probably any game like, uh, I don't know, Adopt Me, what's that other game called? Paradise Life, Love Island, um, Big Brother. <laughs> Everything that, you guys don't play those games? You guys, do you guys play those games? All right, tell me in the comments section down below. Anyway, trust that you guys get that idea, all right? That you understand this. Um, yeah, so make sure that you are connected to Wi-Fi and it's a good connection, a good solid connection. I'm not talking like two bars, okay? You cannot do this on two bars, guys. Come on. Have common sense. Two bars is not going to get you any sexy graphics that you can play with. So yeah, guys, make sure that you take that into account. And uh, yeah, so make sure that you have a good connection. Okay, next, guys, let's go to another very important topic a very important thing that a lot of people forget about that you need to do um to enhance your chromebook experience with roblox all right i love you mr beast i want you forever and ever nobody's gonna take you away from me 
nobody. Forever and ever, nobody's gonna take you away from me. Nobody. Okay, we back? Are we back? Uh, okay, it's working, it's working. Uh, we've just had an interruption, I'm sorry about that everybody. But what the heck was that? These are the exact kind of people that are giving Chromebook users a bad rep. Like, bro is definitely using a Chromebook when he made that video. That was just repulsive. What was that, okay? That is not how you treat a Chromebook. I am astonished, guys. But anyway, guys, smash that like button and subscribe and come back for another video. I know QZRC has been gone for a while, but he is going to be back very soon, guys, making videos. And let's go, guys. Smash that like button and subscribe. Remember, because this helped you out, and I know it helped you out, guys. It must have helped you out. And yeah, because we told the most bestest tips of all time. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Custer C. Yeah, yeah. Ow. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Bro, say so he tosses his chains of beer. <laughs>